Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part nine in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, the silent spy. We have some leads to follow up on from all of our awesome spy work. Um, starting with you, mister. Been listening to our bug and hearing some interesting things from you. So, if you don't mind me asking, why was that scrapbook so important? It was my mother's. I mean, I get that. But was there anything else in there? I guess it doesn't matter now, but it was something that was important to my mom. What? My dad didn't want me looking in my mom's files, but I sort of picked the lock on his file cabinet and copied everything I could. There was a copy of the poem Jabberwocky that had these strange markings. I was hoping they meant something. Like she left you a message? Yeah, like that. It's silly. I know it is. No, it isn't. When you miss someone, you grasp at straws. We all do that. Can you tell me who you were talking to earlier? That I can't do. Top secret information? Something like that. Tell me a little more about the cases you take. No. Yeah, no. I'm gonna land on no. So this whole time you've been feeding someone information about me. Why? What do I do for a living? Why do you think? Who are you working for? Nancy, please stop. Why should I listen to you? You sold me out. I did, but that doesn't make me a bad guy. Please listen. Yes, it does. That's the definition of a bad guy. I got a call from my sister a few nights back. It was strange. She just wanted to talk about you of all people. What was stranger is how afraid she sounded. How she wouldn't answer me when I asked her what was going on. Then she just said, please do what they want. That's why I sold you out. And that's who you're up against. Unlucky for you, I'm not the bad guy here. How did your sister know who Nancy was? Have you been telling your sister about the cases that you work? Or I guess the bad guys told her to call and ask, but why wasn't that immediately a red flag for you? Yeah, I don't know. Make it quick. I'll let you go. Bye! We're gonna go snoop in your room now. Bye! <laughs> So if we go up to our nice little seventh floor abode, uh, we heard on the bug Zoe say something like, this is the game I am in. And if we actually look at our Queen Mary book, we have those symbols all written down, uh, the same ones that are behind her painting. So like this, and then is, where's is, I is, so, like, write down each of the symbols for this is the game I am in. We don't know the symbol hmm. for the word game, so that we are going to have to spell out. But let's give that a try. We're going to put on our spy glasses. And we're going to do this is the spell out game G-A-M-E-I. And then you have to spell it am. A, am, and then in. This is the game I am in. Woohoo! There's something strange about the backing on these cards. Interesting. Okay, so we'll take those. Bridget, Zoe, Chloe. Who are you really? Whoa, Samantha Quick? She's a spy. Wait, this means she knows exactly who I am. Yeah, Samantha Quick is from Phantom of Venice, which is a spy that contacted Nancy in that game. That was way back in uh, the 18th mystery, so 10 mysteries ago. And now we finally learned who Samantha Quick actually is. We've now met her in person. She also goes by Zoe, Bridget, and Chloe, and this passport looks like it's written in Greek. Yeah, Athens. Um, and the game Labyrinth, and Li Labyrinth of Lies is going to be taking place in Greece, so that's kind of this a hint to that. This is a code of some sort. I need to figure this out. There must be something around here to help read this. Something around here to help read this. Something like... This must be for breaking the code. I bet the rest of the pieces are somewhere in this room. Oh, so she has overlays hidden around her room that we need to find. Um, oh, here's one. Anything here? No, nothing here, nothing on the bed. Uh, oh, there's one on the couch. Um, anything over here? I'm gonna take off these spy glasses, they're distracting me. Um, anything, oh, oh, there's one under the plate. Um, nothing by the books, it looks like. 
Nothing by the chairs. Nothing on that lamp. Um, nothing on the bed. Anything over here? Oh, here's there. Here's one. Uh, oh my gosh, there's one on the door or on the wall. That's hidden. Um, and oh, one up here. Jeez, those are not easy to find. Okay, we are going to crawl back across. Now that we have everything we need before she gets in here, let's go ahead and do some trekking. Okay, so this is a puzzle where we if need to I get all the... the pieces so they all fit completely within the grid, it should reveal a message. Right. And we know this one needs to go here um, because it's already outlined for us. And you can't put pieces over these empty spots, so you need to work around those as well, which makes it even even trickier um but let's see i think because we don't have a lot of pieces that'll like wrap around this square i think we should try and do this half first so what if we put like that here um how are we gonna get around here what about ooh, that would work and then maybe this one here um can we put that one there Ah, that doesn't fit. Um, no. Oh, what if we put this one up here? That looks pretty good. Um, and then we would need one that, like, wraps around, sort of. Ooh, what about this one? Yeah, that tucks in nicely. Okay. Um, maybe the T could go here, but then we won't have anything for there. The T can't go there. Maybe the T goes there. And then... And Oh, these two would fit down here then. And maybe this long one goes in the corner. Oh, 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 I think we did it. Sweet, sweet. Orchidaceous. I wonder if that will turn up anything in the archives. Orchidaceous. Orchid. And then daceous. <laughs> daceous. I probably spelled that wrong. Orchidaceous. Flight landed in transit in pocket. Additional eyes watching her too. Appears to know nothing. Is unarmed. Visiting station possibly Beersden convalescent. Good at keeping her mouth shut or maybe she really doesn't know anything. Found bug. Signal splitter at the lock. Still in good shape. Okay. So she um, found our bug which is not great and she's definitely keeping tabs on us. Let's maybe check in uh, with Carson and Ned quick. Hi, Nancy. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It'd be nice if you could find a way to look into Ewan's computer. Talk to you later. Talk to you soon. I mean, I know I need to do that, but he won't let me. Hi, Nancy. Did you find anything about Revenant? Oh boy, where to start? Start at the point that makes the most sense. Right, uh, hmm. Uh, Ned? Look, I have to admit, I'm out of my depth here. <laughs> Welcome to the club. That's the thing. I don't know if I'd call Revenant a terrorist organization. They're like a club or a secret society. Am I evaluating all things equally? Rumors and reports, all that good stuff? Yeah. I threw out all things that contained false flag, chemtrail, vaccines, and Anunnaki. Good methodology. What I end up with is... neutral. Neutral? Yeah, some say they're behind all sorts of terrible things. And others? Other people say they're almost like a humanitarian group. Well, a highly creepy and somewhat illegal humanitarian group. That makes almost no sense. You know what words crop up more than anything else in all the chatter? Confusing? Parent. Guardian. That sort of thing. That may be how they see themselves, at least that's how they're acting. You mentioned the word parent came up a lot when talking about Revenant. What do you think that means? According to some blogger, it's because sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they seem cruel. But there's a design behind everything. And if they're a good parent, then it's almost like they're trying to shape the world into what they think it should be. And if they're not a good parent? Then they're trying to shape the world in their own image. See you around. Thanks, bye. That's interesting. It almost sounds like they're trying to build a utopia. Like they're trying to change the world so that it fits a prescribed 
uh, sense of right and wrong that only their organization believes in. It's very interesting. Hello again. I think Alec is spying on me. Really? Why would he do that? I have no idea. He says Revenant took his sister. Hmm. I'll look into it. Do you know what's going on with these cards? Hmm. 51. You're missing one. Find it, and then I'll be able to figure it out. Without the full set of cards, this means nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, I'm missing a card. Uh, Zoe, can you give me the missing card? <laughs> Since I stole them from you. Hi. What? You used the alibi Samantha quick before, haven't you? Yes, I have been meaning to tell you about this. You don't steal someone's alias. That is so rude. Goodbye. Bye. Well, it was convenient at the time. I mean, it was helpful. <laughs> Anything more from you? Tell me something good. What do you know about the group who has your sister? Nothing. I need more than that. Yeah, me too. There must have been something they told you. Can you even understand why I don't want you to go after the creeps who are holding my sister? <sighs> Impasse. I want to live, you want your sister to live, and Revenant is standing in the way of both. Like it or not, we're stronger together. Stronger than we are alone, but not stronger than they are. What kind of information did your contacts want to know about me? Let's not. Oh no, let's. Not. I agree. Done. See you around. Goodbye. You are not very helpful. Not helpful at all. Uh, let's see if Moira has anything to say. We haven't talked to Moira in a little while. Hi. All right there. Do you know what the story with a locked letterbox is? That's Kate's. Don't have a clue how to unlock it. Why did we lose contact with each other? We didn't. Your father got in the way. Why? Don't blame him. When your mum found out she was going to have a child, she made a promise. No work that would put her or you in danger, so no cathedral. She stuck to that promise, except when I made her break it, which was as often as I could. There was a really close call one night. What happened? I'd rather not say. Your father took you and left, and he was right too. Kate chose you over cathedral and me, and she was right too. See you around. All right, then. And then she came back and did not come home. Sad. Can't check that off. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Still have to. That's done. Still have to do that. Okay, I need to try and figure out how to get rid of Ewan. I can't get rid of him, and I want to tap his computer. <laughs> um, let's go to maybe the cabin. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. We also still need to, like, decode this, but I have no idea how to do that yet. Like, I have no idea what I'm working with. Not exactly helpful. Uh, we have this cipher. Oh, that doesn't help either. We have, actually, we do have this. This, like, code down here, and part of it is in the archives at, whatchamacallit at the hotel in the basement, wherever Ewan is. The cathedral headquarters, I guess, is what we'll call it. Sort of. So let's go down there and see if we can decode that somehow. Oh, also we need to try Orchidaceous in the archives. Um, that should be Orchidaceous. See, how does... Zoe know the uh, password for this. She's not a cathedral operative. How does she know this? It is believed that the colony operation is starting again. It is not clear at this point if the operation is running under Revenant direction. Kestrel has been brought into the country. It is logical to assume her presence here is related to the missing scientist. Tests on the early prototype obtained during debriefings contain structures which displayed an escalated evolution not consistent with adaptation alone. Subsequent tests resulted in variations noted over time. The virus mutations have been tested in a controlled environment. Each has presented a mortality rate far above what is acceptable for the colony plan. However, if the progress is charted correctly, we have concrete evidence that the viral agent has been engineered to cause fewer casualties. 
interesting. Orchid yes. If I can get the deck of cards and the ace, I might be able to find the formula. Formula obtained and split for security, hidden in the cards. Soak in water to reveal. Am in process of securing each card individually. Ace is already placed. Just received new intel and location of scientist will resume securing cards after investigating lead. Last communication received from Harrier before death. So I need to soak these in water and I need to find the ace. And somebody texted me. I just uploaded the funniest video. See, there's this klutz who keeps zipping over to my room. You have to see it. Uh, you weren't supposed to know about that. Nancy's not a very good spy. Kate codes. Internally, the term Kate codes became something of a joke during Kate's service. Kate enjoyed wrapping everything possible in a code of her own making. Despite her innate mathematical abilities, her codes tended to favor the humanities. Often a code of hers could be hidden in plain sight. This well-known quirk may have led to the belief that information pertaining to her involvement in Colony is still accessible. Interesting. Also, Nancy's not a good spy because she keeps telling people, like Alec in particular, who she knows is spying on her important information. Guess what? Your boy Alec is an only child. He lied to you. So stay sharp around him. See you around. Bye. Okay, and he's also lying to us, so... Haven't done that. We got so many issues with Alec. Not cool, man. Let's go up to ground level and, I guess, confront him. What? What was the colony operation? It was exactly what you saw in the notes. Why did it happen? The short story is, we don't know for sure. Who is we? Me, plus other people. And we don't discuss guesses. I'll let you go. Goodbye. There's not a lot of uh, character conversation in this. Most of the characters are pretty tight-lipped. Hey, kid. You don't actually have a sister. I checked. What are you talking about? You lied to me. You do not have a sister. I absolutely do. Prove it. How do you expect me to do that? Show me a picture. I don't have one, all right? Whoever told you that lied. I think you lied. I caught you stealing and let you get away with some silly sob story. Nothing about this is silly. Nothing. What's her name? Grace. When was she born? Two years after me. What's her favorite food? Where does she live? You want my trust? Then convince me, Alec. Enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yikes. Getting a little heated. Uh, okay, let's go back to the archives. Because I totally forgot that we were also down there to look at the code. So many things to do. So many leads to follow up on. Okay. We need to look at this. And what do we have down here in Mom's case notes? It says there's like this drawing of one of them, and then it says times eight, times three, times six, times four, times seven. Times eight, three, six, four, and seven. And then in the drawings, there are six boxes, and three of them are empty. And, no, two of them are empty. The first one has what looks kind of like a bat, almost. And the third one has a diamond that's filled in. It's a black diamond. And then another one with um, five circles, like you would see on a dice. And then another one that looks like elevator doors. So this clearly is like a code of some sort that I think we use the cipher for. But do I need to like write down all of this? Is this important for the, uh, oh boy, um, the cipher to have it all written down? If that's the case, I'll probably do that off camera, but um, I would keep an eye on this. This could easily be important. I think next, let's go up. Can I get rid of you yet? Like, will you Hello. go? Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Ah, but I can't. Nothing? Not one thing. It's protocol. You're welcome to guess. 
but keep the guesses kind or unsaid. It's been a rough couple of months. Why? I've been trying to keep my friends and family alive is all. See you around. Goodbye. So I literally can learn nothing about you. Uh, let's go up to our room and see if we can like soak these cards. Because apparently that's a thing we can do. Which is cool. Uh, cards. And we'll just put them in the water and we'll let them sit there. <laughs> okay. Still did that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. Oh, we have so much to do still and have made very little progress, I feel like. I guess that's the spy world. You never know when things will go your way. Let's go to the... Mm, how much money do we have? We have 52. Let's go to the cabin. And I think... At the cabin, in the next part, we're going to try and figure out the cipher. Um, this thingamabob here. Because this... Time to figure this thing out. Yeah, this has to do with the pictures. And we got a message. I just changed your code name to something that's unfit for print. LOL. That's not very nice at all. Okay, so... Aha! So this must be the order that we have to place everything in. And I guess we will figure that out in the next part. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.